What's up everybody, it's your boy on the wheel over my Joyce's book and I'm back and giving another YouTube video and I'm saying today's video I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make MT in NBA 2K21 my team, you feel me? I can see in the top right hand corner. I'm at 900 k about to hit the one million MT bro, no money spent. Um so yeah man I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make this MT. First of all I wanna show y'all what I've been doing. I've only completed 130 games of uh no of triple threat offline. I barely play triple threat online. You feel me? I I do play triple threat limited. I mean, I said triple threat limited. I do play my team limited. I I believe um uh, I think this is where I get most of my MT from. If I'm not mistaken, that and unlimited. Nah, it gotta be limited though. And then, um, yeah, yeah, in the ascension board. So basically, bro, what I always get my my MT from, like the heavy chunks of it, I get Amethyst player packs from Limited. I get it from the ascension, uh, ascension board. Uh, Amethyst player packs, diamond shoes I get. Um, the diamond shoot I got from the last video I got from the ascension board, level 26. It was a diamond three-point shoot that costed 30K cash that on that uh, yesterday I pulled the silver ranger standard from domination bro if I if you don't think domination is worth it bro you you might want to do it because I barely played it you see I got 33 on this one 33 on this one just so I can unlock the all-time domination so I can get George Mike and pink diamond because I really need that call from my lineup but you only play three times and I got silver ranger standard with the thunder pack you feel me and it's not guaranteed that you'll get it, but hey, just just the fact that I, I pulled a silver ranger thinner from my domination pack, you might put a gold on. You might never know, man. You might never know. I also want to show y'all what I've been doing, though. Um, I did lend me a snipe, if I can find it. I took it to the one. I did snipe this John Wall, man. As you can see, 100k buyout on it only had 400k at this time so you know i sold them for for 300k you feel me so that makes me that made me at 700k then you know the amethyst curries and the diamond shoes they all that up so i'm at 900k now so i'm gonna show y'all some snipe filters man also as you can see here um i was selling jerseys um i, I picked up just the kimmy matumbo like before season two started for like 58k saw them for like 78k something like that because he went himself for 90. um that's the old screenshot of my team when i had like 200k also bro another tip man do not buy the expensive players like see i only bought this team because i wanted to play the the qualifier and i just wasted all my mtt you feel me so i can compete and I've learned that you you don't need all these expensive players to compete. Like I have, bro. When I show my budget lineup, bro, I can beat I can beat pink diamonds and diamonds, bro. With this with this budget lineup that that I have, I will show it in the next video. Um, yeah, man. Um, you feel me? You don't need a good lineup, bro. I mean, you don't need the the heavy. The heavy hitters, I guess you can say. But um as you can see this is my proof for limited. You can get some nice rewards if you do play. So I do advise you to play even though you got your ring already. Since season two. It is easier to get rings and uh limited. But the rewards that you can get though, it's very rewarding, man. Literally all my MT is just by playing the game, bro. Playing online, offline. Uh, triple threat offline. Y'all barely play triple threat offline or online. So, and I made 900k almost to a million MT just by playing online. You feel me? So, the rewards are worth it. You feel me? See, I didn't know what it was because I'm colorblind. So, I, I was like, this gotta be like the best reward on a thingy. So, I'm with this player pack. And as you can see, bro, I'm either gonna get the most, I think the most expensive current day uh, Amethyst cards are Curry and um curry and Giannis, i think so and i did put anthony davis he's like like 18k 
it's also mine for 18k you feel me we're gonna make the most out of it and i don't know if i said this already but domination do give you um badges i don't know if i said this because i did have to restart this video but i did put a silver range in the hopes i didn't save this over again and also i believe i got um gold for step from one of the dominations as well you already know how much gold for step costs let's see i saw mine for like 30k but i did pull it let's see if i can find it quick first step man also if you i'm gonna show y'all some snipe switches as well see look at gold clamps 30k there are badges that go for 30k bro 30k even the silver one goes for a lot 17k the bronze goes for like 10k 13k so you pull any of these badges man uh i'll make a separate video for that but i'm gonna show y'all my my proof though i did get a silver range extender silver range extender sold it for like 25k and you see this card is going for like 27k so man which i want to do also what i did before the season ended or whatever uh i always go to my badges you feel me i saw all the ones that have value but sometimes i do keep my badges just in case i pick up a card that might need the badge or whatever so yeah man um what else shoes when you want a quick sell shoes save a couple of shoes for the season agendas you feel me you might need to uh, apply a shoe or whatever uh score three levels for any game i don't know if i feel like doing this or not at this point bro i'm at level 27 um i eventually get to these well you know i can't get to them now in two hours i don't feel like playing the game honestly i'm gonna show y'all my my little budget team um do not do these I was gonna do the CJ McCollum, but uh, I clearly don't have Trailblazers, and I'm not gonna buy two empty shooting guards because they are expensive, man. Very expensive. So, if I do get a sheep, if there are sheep shooting guards by the time this season, like, I wanna pick up this car eventually, but I'm not picking them. If season three comes and I don't have them, then oh well, I'm not finna, you feel me? I'm not finna um, get him after that. So, don't do the exchange i feel like it's, it's a scam um he doesn't even have clamps or anything like bronze rangers in there something like that i don't know but this card is trash the hall of fame badge might be worth it but you know badges do go for stuff so make sure if you do go for the hall of fame badge um send all the the worthless badges to there you feel me uh p diamond bob Kuzi trash i mean he might be good i don't know uh, diamond shoe, don't, it's not even worth it, man. Sephiroth can't not worth it. Sephiroth player, no. P Diamond ever hates, he's not even a shooter, bro. I don't know, actually. Um, no. Diamond contract might be worth it, I don't know. But no, never mind. Contracts are very expensive. Um, Emerald player, no. Also, what I do for my contracts, man, this is how I save MT as well. Um, I think my controller died. Contract cards. I, I'll. This is how I buy my contracts, bro. Oh my god, contracts, my guy, contracts. What? Hello? Contracts? But what is wrong with this game? There you go, contracts card. I bought all my contracts, you feel me, for 250. Sometimes 300, so I'm desperate, but you feel me? 250 man this is how you save a lot of mt bro you don't want to be spending like two two thousand each game oh my god i got the hiccups oh man you don't want to be spending two thousand for each game for just for one contract or for like f for five games for all players man so i just apply them all to my players you feel me i'm not finna show you on my team you feel me that's for another video but yeah, I mean, that's all the tips I have for you. Oh, wait, do I want, oh, I do, I do sniping though. Actually, I want snipe filter right here. And this is like the most consistent common snipe filter, you feel me? Buy anything that pops up, 500, 500, you feel me? Anything that make profit. But I'll show y'all some more snipe filters later on in another video, you feel me? Cause I need my content. I need to watch hours, you feel me? But other than that, bro, 
Um, do not lock in six whatsoever. I don't care. I don't care, bro. I spent John Wall. I did think about locking in for Josh Smith, but like I said, as to buying the expensive players, they're all gonna become outdated, bro. So don't buy the players, bro. I I'm sorry. They might be good right now, but later on, a couple months, they're not gonna be good. They often be cheap. They're all going for like what 100k plus right now. All the good cards. Trust me, they're all gonna be buy out soon. So. Don't don't even worry about it, bro. I'd rather have a lot of MT later on than right now. I mean, later on. No, I'd rather have. I said they're on like a. I'd rather have a good team later on than right now because if I buy a team right now, they are all finna lose value. I'm not finna get back what I pay for, and I could have had a me and MT later on, and what you call it, and build me a whole god squad with opals and stuff when they come out. So. Yeah, man, um, that's my, my tips on how I make my MT fast. To sum it up for you, play online, play limited, play unlimited. Um, you trip the online, offline. You feel me? Put put in locker code. Locker codes are very important, bro. Uh, you might pull something, anything free, you better get. You feel me? Um, and that's about it, man. 900k no money spent man if you enjoyed the video man give the video a like please subscribe if you're new and i am out sorry my ps4 is loud